Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What If Naruto Turned Konoha Into A Nation and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie and my own idea now before continuing this. It might be a little bit inspired from Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2 because yeah, I have just watched a little bit of clips of that game and the gameplay of that game and I have been obsessed with it. I mean, cool metal knights and whatnot, I'm in. And yeah, I've been downloading that game now and soon I will play it and maybe upload a gameplay here and there on my other channel as well. So stay tuned for that alongside with an interesting story. And talking about stories, today is not a double upload but a single one because I uploaded two movies in a row. Hopefully there will be three. Let's hope. Anyways. Enough said, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other channel as well. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's movie. Our story begins before the events of the Third Great Shinobi War. As we see Minato Namikaze, a young Jonin, and his girlfriend, Kushina Uzumaki, a Jonin of her own right, were currently at the doctor's office. Kushina has been confirmed that she indeed was pregnant. It happened a few weeks ago when Minato and Kushina ended up being drunk together while on a date and one thing led to another and they ended up sleeping together. Now Minato and Kushina were not like one night stand or on and off thing. Everyone in the elemental nation knew, especially in Konoha amongst their friends that both of them were seriously madly in love with one another and would wound up with each other one day or another. But this was too early, even for their standards, and not on the war on the horizon. As now we see, both of them arrived at home. Minato, what are we gonna do? What else? It's, it may be early, but Kushina, would you, would you marry me? Said Minato as he went down to one knee and brought out a ring, as Kushina was taken aback by the sudden question. As she accepted, then and there, and both were engaged and promised to one another now. As after that... Kushina then asked, but that doesn't answer the question still. Not like I'm not happy or anything. You and I both know that the war is on the horizon, and me being pregnant, it could be dangerous for our son. You don't need to worry about anything of regard, Sensei, said a black-haired boy who entered there. We'll make sure that your son is protected. I mean, me and Team Seven will. Right, Bakashi? Rinchan? Hi, whatever you say, Yobito. As the... The other two agreed, as giggle. I'm happy for you, Kushina-san. As after that we see, Kushina gave Rin a deep hug because she looked at the girl like her little sister, and same could be said for Obito. As Minato, who was, well, with his new team, was quite happy at the time. I'm proud of you. Thank you, as well. And so, many things changed in the events of the third grade Shinobi War. Especially, the Team 7 was not involved in the conflict. They were put on the backup behind in the village, and their main goal was to protect Naruto, their newborn son. And so, the war with went without any hitch, and in the end, Konoha was the one who came out as the victor and on top. As after that, we see Kushina and Minato returned. But they were quite shocked to find out that one of the rogue Eva shinobis were able to attack their child while th they themselves were resting at their home, even after the war had ended. Luckily enough, they were ca the said assassin was captured, before, but before anything could happen, he swallowed a poison and killed himself. Naruto was rushed to the hospital, but the wound was too much. The poisoning has infected his chakra coils to the point that he has no other option but to remain a civilian. Now, this was a... Deep shock for both Minato and Kushina, but they knew more than anything that they had their son amongst them and with them. And so, a year passed. Naruto was one year old. And after the war had ended for one year, things began to finally settle down. And so, Kushina and Minato, who were at the time planning for their marriage, was resting as a family of three. You know, Kushichan, this is nice. Finally, we have peace established, and not only that, our children will grow into a brighter future. Children? I thought maybe you wanna... Of course, Minato. I would love to have more kids. And Naruto would obviously love to have his, well, siblings. As now we see, 
time began to pass by as Naruto reached at the age of two. He was barely able to walk and speak, but he was an odd child. Even if he was a civilian, he was capable of grasping basic things and was trying his best to speak, read and write and learn. And that was quite endearing to both Minato and Kushina and to some people that were quite shocking. Danzo find the boy quite endearing because he reminded him of someone who he had lost but would not reveal. And as for Hiruzen and the other elders, they were quite surprised that the boy had such potential and yet it was wasted because of the assassin. They were bitter because of what the assassin had done to the boy. Naruto had a huge scar on his shoulder that displayed where the wound was that caused the poisoning to his chakra coils and making them dead forever, not to be used. As now we see, time went on and Kushina broke the news to Naruto who was at the point two and a half year old that she was pregnant again. And at the time Obito, Rin and Kakashi who had become tunings were quite happy to hear that as well. Yes, now little Naruto won't be the littlest anymore. Aren't you happy Naruto? You're going to be a Nissan. As Naruto had a small smile on his face as he nodded. But he did not know what was going to happen soon. As we see, it was October 10th and night time. Naruto was with Rin and Obito who had at the time beginning to date while Kakashi was busy reading his books. I swear to God. I don't know why Kakashi became so uncool. He's been reading those books, those filthy books. I can't believe it, Obito. Calm down, rin -chan. You know how Kakashi is. It's just his method of just expressing things. He likes them. He's a closet pervert. That's what he is. What's a closet pervert, Nissan? Uh, nothing, Naruto. You don't need to worry about that. It's just a very bad thing. Hey, don't make it sound like it's a bad thing. What? Don't tell me, Rin said as her eyes narrowed. No, I wouldn't. I swear I wouldn't. I'm gonna have to do a clean inspection of your home once we return. As Obito gulped, he wished that his stash would just disappear on itself or a life-threatening event just would happen. And he did not knew that his words would be heard by the gods as suddenly they felt chills run down their spine. Ah, oh, curse me in my big mouth. He thought to himself, what? Nothing. Rin? Take Naruto to the shelter. What? No. Please. If anything happens, you would have to take the charge and evacuate the civilians to other safety. I I will. Take care of yourself, Obito. As before Obito and Rin could leave, Kakashi arrived. Yo. I I think you might have sensed that too as well, right? Yes. I was taking Naruto to the shelter. Come on, Kakashi. We have things to do. We gotta get near the sensei. As soon as both of them arrived, they found that... Kaka Minato was yelling orders, take care of my kids and take care of Kushijan. As after that, he disappeared in a yellow flash after a man who has appeared there. As they dashed towards Kushina who was on the ground, panting heavily. Where is Naruto? He's safe. Take men and me to, to the shelter. I will be fine. How? I have healing chakra, remember? Sinare, student and all that. And soon she may form a hand seal as the slugs begin to appear. And so, Tsunade was beginning to heal as well. As soon as she was done healing, barely able to get back to her feet, we see Tsunade panted heavily. We have to get out of here. I need to find Minato. What happened, Tsunade-sama? Kushina-sama, said Kakashi. A masked person appeared out of nowhere. He killed Bivaku-sama and the others. It was supposed to be a, without a hitch, and everything went without it. But... But he caused this. He wanted the QB. He ripped it out of me. And and then escaped. What happened to the kids? His clones were holding them hostage. Minato couldn't do anything. Single move and the clones would have impaled him with a kuna straight through the throat. Damn it. We have to inform the others before. As that is when the QB had done materializing as Minato arrived. Kushina, we have no other choice. Kakashi, you and the others, go and tell the others to try to stay far away. Me and Krishna will handle this. So we're gonna use the new seal? Yes. As soon enough, Minato and Kushina arrived at the battlefield, in which Hiruzen and some of the Anbus were already standing at, as a form of a line of defense, and Minato had summoned his huge toad, and Kushina was using her admandium chains while her clone was busy dealing with the seal. As after placing the seal marks on both Minato, Menma, and Mito, we see that both of the parents used the hand seal for injured sword, and ripped the biju into two shreds, into two consciousness, and sealed it away within their children. As Kushina was exhausted, dangerously, as she was rushed to the hospital. 
as this was going on, we see that Naruto was then, after everything had settled down, was brought out of the shelter alongside the civilians and he was brought to the hospital. As soon as he arrived, he noticed that his mother was looking way more failish than anything else. And not only that, she was sweating cold sweat. Ka-chan. Tochan, she's sweating cold sweat. I know, Naruto. What happened to her? Nothing. She'll be fine. As the doctor then arrived, he was about to inject her with a serum as Naruto noticed something. You're, you're using way too much dose. That would, that would cause more harm than good. Please reduce it at least up to 2 milligrams. As everyone was quite surprised, as Minato then said, Naruto, please don't hinder the doctor. I'm not. Oh, you're right. Uh, it's, it's just that it has been hectic. I apologize, Okakusama. As Minato was taken aback by that, that Hiruzen and the elders, who were also present there to inform Minato about the council meeting that has been placed, were impressed. As now we see, Hiruzen then said, Minato, the council requests you. Your students can remain here and watch over Naruto and your other kids and wife. Hi. Look, Naruto, you're the oldest. You have to be brave, my son. All right? Leave them to me. I'll protect them with my life. <laughs> you don't have to, kiddo. That's why we're here, said Obito as he rubbed Naruto's he head with his hand. Stop doing that, Nissan. Oh yeah, Brad, you wanna go, huh? Huh, tough Brad? As that is when Rinna said, stop it, you idiot. He's just a kid. You're grown. As after that, Minato looked towards Kakashi dead in the eye. Protect them, Kakashi. I will with my life, Sensei. As with that, Minato left with a yellow flash. As the elders were walking back, we see Danzo speak. The child has great potential. It would be a waste to let it go like this. I mean, the child is observant. Haven't you noticed? Said Danzo to Hiruzen. Think about it, Hiruzen. The child was able to correct a nurse. A nurse who has been veteran in the field. An experienced one. And he doesn't even have any experience. He noticed that the dosage was 2 mg off. With just one sight and glance, under such circumstances and such conditions, normally the children of his age would be crying their eyes out. I gotta give it to him. The child really is genius, as you say. But right now is not the time. That man is. We can't waste his potential. And so, now we see. The elders arrived in the council meeting, where the meeting was being discussed. As Minato began, this meeting is in session. Minato, first of all, we would like to know how in the hell did this happen? It was a masked person claiming to be Madara Uchiha. What? That is insane! Sensei killed that man! Said Koharu. Koharu, calm down, said Danzo. We all know what has happened, what has been read in the history. But it seems that not everything was revealed to us. As Hiruzen stood up and looked towards Fugaku. May I have your permission, Fugaku? Reveal a clan secret. Seeing the situation as it is, I accept it. You see, the Uchihas have their dojutsu to an extreme level. They can take it, and if they are able to tap into that potential, they will become second to only the Sage of the Sixth Path in power terms. Now think about this. Madara was able to achieve that power before he faced Sensei in the Valley of the End battle. What to say that he was not able to tap into the power of Sage himself, the power of the Rinnegan, the final step of achieving of the said dojutsu of Sharingan. So Rinnegan is the final form of the Sharingan? As Fugaku nodded, yes, it is. But not everyone can achieve it. It can be only achieved by those who have mastered the power of the curse of hatred itself and have empathy. But Madara never had that. Somehow he's found a loop or something. And if he has, then that is something we need to worry about. Because we have a Madara with a Rinnegan out there roaming around. A legend of the past that should have just died that day. And be just that, a legend. Then what are we gonna do about this ghost, Minato? Hiruzen, said Danzo. We will send out search teams, but not at the moment. We need to rebuild the village and recover from the damages and the losses of the people that we have suffered. This meeting is adjourned. Hi. As after that, we see Minato was about to leave, as everyone has already left. As that is when Danzo and Hiruzen arrived. What is it, Danzo Sama? Hiruzen-sama, we wish to speak about Naruto. What is it? Can it wait? It can, but I think it is important to notice that Naruto is a genius in his own right. 
He's at least two and a half years of age and what he was able to correct a doctor in front of us. And not only that, the boy has a tendency of learning, absorbing everything that he has learned and grasped to the best of its potential and use it as well. If given the chance to the boy, he will be able to flourish, even as a civilian. And not like only the shinobis have been the one in the elemental nation in history to bring forth peace or establish something new. Snow Country is a prime example of that. You're, you're right about it. So what are you suggesting? Naruto is allowed to go through each and every scroll if he's required to. Library, as well as all the tech departments that we have. If the boy and his creativity are let loose, he will be able to create something much more than Orochimaru ever even thought or dreamed of. My son is not going to be the next Orochimaru. He doesn't have to be. Orochimaru had his own ambitions, but the wrong way to grasp them. Naruto won't be able to do that because he is still learning and absorbing from his parents and from us. We wish for it to see it to the full extent. Konoha will grow under his watchful eyes. If he is molded into the potential that he possesses. Alright, I'll think about it. As now we see, as soon as Minato returned, Kushina had woken up. And she was currently introducing Naruto to his siblings, Manma and Mito. Both of whom were his younger siblings. As their eyes opened, which were like his, deep blue, Naruto brought his fingers down as the chubby's hand grabbed each of his finger and Naruto at that moment knew that he would protect his siblings forever and for eternity. As now we see, time began to pass by as Naruto grew up. He was at the age of five when his siblings reached at the age of two and a half, being two and a half years older than them, as they always were trying their best to get their Nissan's attention to play with them. So much so that Naruto's only best friend at the time, Itachi, was also getting annoyed by that, and he himself had to take care of his little brother Sasuke, who was also similar to his best friend's brother, siblings. You know, being an older son sometimes is kind of a hard end of the bargain. What do you mean by that, Itachi? Think about it, Naruto. Our little siblings bother us, and we have to humor them each and every time. But you wouldn't give that up, would you now, Itachi? No. For nothing in this world, I will ever give up my little brother to. I know that much. So, what are you reading today, Naruto? Oh, nothing. It's just that I visited the technological department and... Yeah, I was quite surprised that they didn't thought of doing these things. What? Shinobis could use these things that I'm thinking of developing. Developing? What do you mean by that? Look, I haven't fully grasped it yet. It's just a rough idea. What if there was a device that allowed us to communicate with one another, even from all across the elemental nation, a chakra channel that only is secure to Konoha and its Shinobian people? Think about how much help we can get and how we'll be able to keep an eye on where we are. It will make our job and our Shinobi's lives and jobs easier. Much more than that. That certainly is quite impressive if you think about it, Naruto. So how are you going to do this? At first, I've got to learn how to use the technological tools and whatnot. So Naruto was with the help of his father and the elders allowed to visit. And Naruto had developed a prototype within working just a few months. As he placed one in one of his ears and on the other side, he placed on two of the Anbus. One of the Anbu was standing near next to him and the other one was sent to the land of fire. And after he arrived there, he sent it in a signal, and Naruto was able to read it completely, making it sure that the chakra channel was established. But it was that, that it was a rough voice that was heard. To make the signal much more stronger, Naruto made a device that was able to act as an antenna, catching the signal, receiving it, and then sending it as well. And doing so, Naruto was able to break through the technological barrier that Konoha was held behind. And now, the shinobis were geared up for much more. They could each and any time call for backup and inform of the situation while on the go. As Naruto explained this to the council while presenting them with the prototype and the success of it, it was immediately implemented into the Anbu ranks as well as the Jonin ranks. Even the Genins and the team were given this and the elders, they were impressed alongside with Minato. As Danzo had a smile on his face as he then said, See, I told you, the child has great potential. 
He's already at such a young age and able to do this. He's not six, said Koharu, quite shocked that the boy was able to make something of this extent. As that is when, Hiruzen then said, Your son is really a prodigy, a generational one, if anything, a genius in its own right. If he is given space and time to grow, he will change the fate of Konoha. I can see it. As that is when we see Naruto reached at the age of six and noticed that his civil siblings, who were at the age of three, had beginning their training in chakra. Now Naruto was informed as soon as he was able to grasp that why he was not being trained. His best friend Itachi was being trained in, in shinobi arts by his family, but why wasn't he? So he looked towards the scar on his shoulder and thought about it and then asked the question to his parents. His parents were quite guilty of telling what has happened, but Naruto shrugged it off and said that it was fine. He was sad that he couldn't live up to the name or legacy of his family, but he will try his best to not dishonor it. As now we see, Naruto was sitting in the backyard reading a book while thinking of a way to enhance his already done project much more better than anyone. As his younger siblings were training, as Naruto had to dodge a kunai that was thrown his way. I'm sorry, Nissan. It was by an accident. It's alright, Minma. Just be careful, okay? Said Naruto. As he rubbed the boy's head. It's alright. Now go and train. As Kushina and Minato were watching this from afar, you know? Sometimes I wonder that Naruto has this distant and waste look on his face. Like, he wishes to be a shinobi, but it's alright. Naruto has done enough for the shinobi world as it is. Even if he doesn't do anything, the village has already rewarded, has rewards in store for him. He'll be given a council seat and he'll be working with TN Technological Department of Kona from now on. To working forward and establishing a lot of stuff for, for the betterment of the village. The elders are impressed by him and so are the civilians and the whole shinobi sector. He has already won their respect at such a young age. It is true, but still... I feel sad that what has happened. Look, we can't change the past, Kushina. But what we can do is make him look forward for the future and live in the present to the best potential. The past is the past. The present is a time of now and of living. The future is a surprise and a gift. You're, you're right about that. You know, sticking with Erosan, I would have thought you picked up his... Sleazy habits, but turns out you've picked up something good. <laughs> I'd learned it from Fukusaka and Shima-sama, the elders of the Toad. <laughs> Thought so much. As now we see, this was going on. A one year more passed as Naruto was still working greatly closely with the technological department and minor developments were being made left and right. He has made a tactical armor that would even be able to sustain a lot of damage and he was able to implement thanks to the Fuinjutsu arts healing seals and healing chakra within seals that were placed on the armor, capable of healing a shinobi and restoring its chakra back to the prime, but it could be only used once. As this was more than enough the villagers could expect because this would not only save multiple lives in dangerous situations, it means that if there is ever a war, they could use this and they would be back to full potential and then could go on for much longer than usual. As now we see in a bar where the Jonis were seated at. Kakashi, Rin, and Obito were seated there as well alongside their friends, you know? I did not thought that Naruto would grow out in such a way. He's what, seven? Eight? Said Obito. And the kid is already making waves in the whole village. Everyone is impressed and talking about him. And this new gear that he made for us? Huh. Let me tell you this much. This is... Something that we not even expected from Konoha, or heck, I thought that even Snow Country might have something like that. They do, but it is not as advanced or highly compatible like Naruto. He has been learning and exper experimenting with Fuinjutsu seals a lot. He still requires a lot of help because he couldn't use chakra, but still, he is doing what he can for the village, and that in itself says a lot. The boy has become a prime core and a pillar of the village like a sword. Yeah, quite a heavy burden for such a young boy, said Kurina Yuhi. You might think that, but Naruto is fine as he is. He is, after all, as everyone is saying around, a generational prodigy. As now we see that, 
Manma and Mito currently were training as they were at the age of four. As Naruto was sitting next by them, as Kushina was teaching them, and suddenly Minato and Jiraiya arrived there. Kushina, there is something we need to discuss. Inside, kids, now. As Naruto raised an eyebrow while his younger siblings looked at him. Nay, nee, nee, son, do you know what it is? Said Menma. I highly doubt. Menma. What, what do you think? What would it be? I don't know. Mito. The only thing we can do is just go inside and listen. As soon as they arrived inside, we see Jiraiya had a grave news. We have to move to the Toad Mountain. Since unfortunately Naruto is a civilian, he can't go there. I'm sorry, Naruto. What? But why Why do we need to move to the Toad Mountain? As Minato and Kushina, who had already explained the whole thing, then said, The prophecy has been given, Naruto. Men and Mito need to be prepared in case the prophecy is to come to fulfillment. They need to train to learn the Senjutsu Chakra. And not only both of them, me and Sensei also need to perfect it. I, I see. Kushida needs to be there because she has experience with the Kyubi's chakra. We have to make sure that they are able of using that. I wish there was another way, but I'm sorry, Naruto, said Jiraiya. It's it's all right. I I can move in with Itachi if you want to, and yeah, Obasama will take care of me for the time being. It's it's all right, Naruto. We we thank you for accepting this, but. Are you sure you're going to be okay, honey? Said Kushina. Look, we don't wish to leave you. Just say the word, we won't go. Yeah, Naruto. If you're not okay with it, I won't force them to. And besides, the prophecy is as it states. It can or cannot be fulfilled. It's still in the what if scenario here. Even if. I just want them to train and become stronger. They are my little siblings, right? I want them to surpass me and my... Well parents and even if the prophecy doesn't come to fulfillment if they are just able to become strong or even sage i'll be more than happy to and that will make them a lot more cooler right now as both manma and mito smiled after hearing their nissan said that as minato and kushin also smiled as chiradan said you really have a big heart naruto it's fine i will i will be sad i would be lying if i won't be but knowing that is it is for the greater good i accept it Look, you don't need to be sad, said Naruto as he looked towards the adults being sad as well as his siblings. I will focus on my work. Well, the time you return, I wish to see you too make progress. And while on the other side, I will show you that I have made progress in my own right as well. Then we'll wish to see a stronger future ahead of us, son. Oh, you will. As now we see Naruto at the age of seven. Fair bid farewell to his parents and his siblings, who were now going to remain in Mount Mia Boku for at least years to come. Naruto knew that this was for the sake of his siblings, because after talking with Itachi, both of them came to a conclusion. They will protect their little siblings from everything the world has to throw around. Naruto has to make sure now that they don't have to fight, even if they become strong, and even if this prophecy is to fulfill, Naruto will make sure that it doesn't. He will make sure the peace is preserved. And to do that, Naruto first needed to make sure that Konoha was able to stand on its own feet as a stronger nation. Not a village, but a nation. As Naruto's head then had an idea, and then he began to draw. As now we see, the next morning Naruto came there, he called for a council meeting. As Naruto was standing there. So Naruto, please begin with your explanation. What is this plan of yours? It may be a wild plan, but I think this is high time that we did this. It may be expensive at first, but if we are able to use our resources to the best we have, and not only that, if we ever put our time as well as our mind to it, we will be able to achieve it. What? Freedom from the land of fire, and establish our own identity as a nation instead of a village. We don't have to be mercenaries anymore. We will be our own warriors as well as our own nation. But how will that be possible, Naruto? I know how. First, we need to make sure that our barriers are in accordance. Not even the mighty Bijus would be able to penetrate it, let alone spies get in or out. And then, we will move forward towards the next step. 
how are you going to do that? Simple. With this. As after that, Naruto began to work hard, as the Anbus had to do shifts left and right because the elders had placed their trust in him. The council was not quite trustful of this event. Even if Naruto was able to do a miracle and make them technologically advanced over the course of two years, he still was a kid. And what he was saying was, get rid of Daimyo as a whole and not bother with them. And that could be quite dangerous for a village if they're trying to survive in elemental nation. As so, a year passed. As now we see, Naruto pressed the button in front of the council as a barrier, a blue barrier, in a form of a dome erupted across the whole village and its land that needed to be protected that was vital. As soon enough, Naruto then said, the barrier is active. As after that, Naruto used the Fuinjutsu art and read through across the whole registry system in which each and every one, except for the newborns who was registered there, was able to allow and leave through the seal because it was fed that, that these were the inhabitants of Konoha while the rest they were stopped at the gates and were questioned and those who were already inside a barrier erupted around them and the Anbu surrounded them and soon enough the spies more than hundreds of them were discovered I can't believe this said Donzo as he and the others were witnessing something like this as if it was a miracle this is way beyond what we have thought. He has single-handedly caught more than hundreds of spies that were hidden amongst us. Moles that were seemingly close to leaking out of our information. This is certainly a terrifying thought, but at the same time, it is amazing. Should we go on with this plan? Should we? said Homura. Because from what I can tell, it will be a success. If the boy's hunch is right and we are able to get rid of the daimyo and the land of fire from interfering with us, the profits will be ours and ours alone. And not only that, the boy said that we won't need any conflict and this alone stops a lot of it. You're right about that. You're right about that, at least, Homura. But what I'm worried is, why Naruto is so hard and determined to do it? He's just a young kid. What is his end goal? That is what I'm worried about. You're worried that he might turn into a new Orochimaru. Yes, Orochimaru's first instinct was to help out others, but soon he turned cold and bitter. I want to know Naruto's side. And so Naruto was called, and Naruto told them straightforwardly, I'm doing this because I'm worried about my siblings. As after he explained why he thought he was worried about his siblings, they finally relaxed. So I see. In a sense, you wish for the next generation in which your siblings are a part of, to not go through war or something that you or your parents or we all have experienced. Naruto nodded, yes. Once we have established peace, then we will progress from then onwards. But how will you establish peace? Simple. The other nations also want something that we have. Instead of keeping it to ourselves, we will give them. But Naruto, what if they try to invade? We will give them design something specifically for them. And it is designed by me and us especially, so we will know what the weakness is in the system. As their eyes widen, realizing what Naruto has just said to them, it is us who will be at advantage, but them who knew if they tried to betray us, we are the one at the advantage here. Hmm, this is going to be quite tricky to make them realize the potential of it. You don't need to. I will. As Naruto and Hiruzen was now seen in a Kage summit where Naruto and the newly established Mizukage made Terumi was seated in front of her and to next to her was Oniki and the newly established as stated A of Rai, A the Rai Kage of Kumogakure as Naruto and Konoha brought this proposal to them and they were quite shocked what would Konoha get out of it listen look I know that you might have held hatred and grudges against my parents or even against many of Konoha or against one another. He especially looked towards Oniki. But why I'm doing this is because I'm fed up. For how long we have to kill one another? I could ask you the same question, kid. For how long? Listen, what happened is in the past cannot be forgotten but can be forgiven. Right? And we can move past the side of our hatred. 
and come to a common goal and that is stop the intervenance of the other nations amongst our inter our ourselves you can be your own nation think about it the prosperity and the establishment that you will have the peace you would have the younger generation wouldn't have to fight and not only that there will be exchange students that will learn and make progress much more f fruitful for each and every nation Civilians have been ignored for the longer part of the shinobi culture and life. Think about it. He never gave it a thought. There might be a lot of more geniuses within that help out the shinobis. The armor that was created was created by a civilian. The weapons are created by civilians that you use. They are an integral part of the society. And if you as a whole unit work together, the village can be turned into a nation. But what would you get out of it? Peace. It's simple as that. I have gone through a QB attack. And not only that... All of you have gone through wars. Do you wish for it to happen to the same to your kids or to the future generation? No. Came the cynical answer of everyone. And for that to make sure that it doesn't happen and it remains that way is through establishing peace. Even if we don't like it, we don't have to interact. But we, that means also we don't have to harm each other. The history needs to be taught to the next generation. Passed alongside it must not be hatred, but wisdom of how to avoid what has happened in the past. You know, kid, I detest your father. I detest your homeland, but you have said has made a lot of sense to me. I will go back to my council, and we will send you a letter. Same here for me. Kuma had odds with Uzumaki said before, but you have given us something that we look forward to. Mizu is as it already is in a desperate state of needing help. We have been abandoned by Konoha before, but seeing you give us hope, you best keep your word now to Uzumaki. Because it's behind these words, a lot of people would have placed their trust on you. And I live to fulfill it. And soon enough, Rasa the Kazakage spoke. We already are allies, so we trust Konoha on this one. And soon enough, Time began to pass by and everyone accepted as soon as the letters arrived. And within five years, as Naruto reached at the age of 13, Naruto witnessed his friend has already been an Anbu and has been assigned to keep him a guard. While Naruto was working from village to village, traveling in the form of Anbu and Troj and helping them out. While doing so, he was able to establish lots of bonds as well. Kurtisuchi from Iwa has become his best of friend and not only that Mei has herself become a friend of Naruto and an ally alongside with Chojiro same could be said for Kumo where B has taken a shine to Naruto and Naruto has taken a shine to B's obnoxious rap and found it funny and finally Naruto had made friend with someone in Suna that was quite shocking Gara and the Sabukuna siblings Naruto made friends with them and in doing so Naruto had, without knowing, appeased the village and the village trusted him already enough, but Naruto helped them out. As soon Naruto returned at the age of 13 after making sure that the basic plan was given out and the barriers were protected, more than enough spies were sent out and cleared out the village. The only people that were not happy with this were the time use and they wanted to ask question why. But Konoha and the others have begun to work on plan. They were not answering any questions. As soon as Naruto reached at the age of 16, when Menma and Mito arrived at the age of 13, we see that Naruto had fulfilled his promise. Konoha has become a nation of its own. And not only Konoha, but seemingly enough, each and every village has become an elemental nation. And they were much more stronger and powerful and richer than the daimyos and their lands. As Konoha, which was a village, now stood proud as a nation with its own flag and its own armor and codes and conduct, regarded Naruto in high regards. And even in the other villages, it was regarded that Naruto is the sole ally of the nation and his lineage will forever be friends with us and are to be trusted. Even if his father was a prick, that is, in case of Eva. As now we see, Naruto was reunited with his family. They were happy to see their older brother and their older son. 
But what Minato and Kushina and Menman Mito and Jirai didn't expect was Naruto to already be two steps ahead of them. Naruto, this is amazing. You, you not only freed the shackles of the village from the daimyo's clutches, you also made it stand on its own feet into a nation. But, but I don't understand one thing. What? Why? Why go so far and beyond? Because of them. As Man Man Mito's eyes widened, I didn't want them to go to war or fight. I only sent them away because I knew it was important to you and for them to train. What happened to me, I didn't want it to happen to them or to any other future generation. And for that to happen, I need to make others realize that we can't dwell on the past. The only thing we can do for the future generation is move forward and pass the torch to them. And that is what I did. I made sure that a haven was created for them and the others where they would be at peace. As that is when we see Naruto, who was already have won enough, was doing one thing more. He was making an armor for himself. Armor that he would be allowed to use in war in case it ever happened. And to do that, he had to go through a lot of surgeries. A lot of them. And in the end, going through a lot of critical surgeries, through, through the automated medic bot that he had created, we see Naruto standing there. As he had metal holes in both his shoulders, legs, as well as in his chest, and the back, and one in neck as well that connected to his brain. His hair has grown out now, as his armor work was complete. After wearing on the suit that was tactical suit, he stood in the center as the armor began to surround him. It was a huge bulky metal armor that was blue with red stripes and lines in them, with one Uzumaki symbol. And on the other side was Konoha's symbol. As soon as the armor was complete, one metal projectile was given to him. It had huge explosive within them in the round chamber. As it was holstered next, a blade was given to him that was placed on his back. And a huge jetpack-like thing was placed on his back as well. And finally, the helmet was given. Naruto's armor resembled, similar to War ha Titus Warhammer 240k, Two Space Marines armor, similar but only with red linings on them, as Naruto stood there, as his parents then suddenly came inside. N N Naruto, what the, what the hell is that thing? Oh, uh, you don't need to worry about that. This is something that I created. If there is ever a war that occurs, I will use this. What is this? You can call it a night suit. An armor that a shinobi can wear. Anyone can, but going through extensional and a lot of life-threatening searches. You, you, you done something like that to yourself? I might have. I don't know the extent of how far this will go, but I know this much. I, when I'm in this suit, am invincible. Invincible to each and every threat, even to the Biju attacks. Now, Naruto, after displaying this, has displaced his this to the council, as it frightened them to no end that Naruto would go so far to enhance his own body to this extent. But Naruto reassured them that he didn't want it anymore after establishing a peace, and he hoped and wished that he didn't need to use this suit, but if the need ever arises, he would wear this armor once again. As the armor was taken off again, as Naruto was now wearing normal clothes, but the metal like tubes were still visible on his body. Kushina and Minato were not proud of what their son had achieved, but Naruto was okay with it. It was a price he was ready to pay for his siblings. Until one day, a tragedy appeared. Jira Itachi was away on a mission near Amegakure with a team, and he had been wounded greatly and has been brought back. Naruto couldn't bear with losing his friend, so he did the unthinkable. He did the most questionable and the controversial thing that he would do in the career. To save his friend and out of grief, he created a dreadnought out of Itachi. A being made out of full metal in which Itachi would reside, his consciousness would, because his brain was placed inside of it, alongside with his soul and sheer will to live and his genjutsu and filled shining gun eyes. After he did that, we see 
the dreadnought came to life as he looked down at Naruto. Naruto, what is going on? said a mechanical voice of Itachi. It's good to see you back, my friend, said Naruto. His hair was grown out and he looked a little bit older. What time is it? It's been two years, Itachi. It took me two years to bring you back, my friend. What do you mean by that? As Naruto then brought him in front of a mirror, as Itachi was shocked, what, what happened to me? You're basically an immortal now, Itachi. A dreadnought. A what now? Like I call this a tactical suit. That is your body now. You turned me into a metal monster. I... I don't know why I did it, but I was sad. I'm sorry. It's okay. I guess I understand why you did. And it also gives me a certain peace that now I will be here to watch my brother and his generations. If I am immortal, and continue to protect them. As Naruto then placed a Uchiha crest on left side and a Kona symbol. As Naruto in his suit again once more wore, walked towards the Uchiha house, where he was slapped across the face after explaining everything by his Abasan, and not only her, by Kushina as well. How dare you defile my son's remains? I didn't expect this from you, Naruto. You were his best friend. Mother, I am here. Naruto might have done something bad, but it was because of sadness. I can sense it. But Itachi, you... It's not like I'm happy to have you back, but you're different. You're this... A machine? A dreadnought? I know what I am. But fear not, mother. I will forever be the guardian of the Uchiha clan now. And watch over Sasuke and his future generation. As he looked towards his Nissan, he was pissed at Naruto. And for most months, his own family and most of the people in the village didn't talk to him. But soon after their anger faded because Itachi convinced them to, they realized that Naruto did this because out of his sadness. But they made vow Naruto that they, he wouldn't do anything of a sort if he ever feels sad. Naruto did not know what he would do if his siblings end up that way. And for that, he was getting much more paranoid. So much so that he began to enhance his own armor. Until he one day was stopped by his father. You need to stop Naruto. There is no war. There is nothing going on. You need to calm down and end this project. But, but what, if, what if a war happens and, and both of them get hurt? What will happen then? That won't happen, Naruto, said Itachi in his mechanical tone. I won't allow that to happen. After all, I am here, aren't I? Yes, you're, you're right. As soon enough we see, Itachi and Naruto were seated again. A huge metal junk and Naruto, who was seemingly quite small in front of him, in the Uchiha backyard. At first, people were afraid of Itachi, but soon they realized, even if it was a metal object, deep beneath it was still Itachi. It was his conscious and his soul within this machine. And so, they accepted him as he was. His brother and his family, and the rest of the clan, and the village as well. What are you thinking, Naruto? How did you end up like this? How did you, I mean, die? Yes. I was in Amegakure. We did not know that the whole village was under the influence of this organization known as Akatsuki. They have been sacrificing people's soul left and right. And it sickened us. My squadron died that day, Naruto, as his metal hand clenched, feeling the emotion as it was. And so did I. But because of your sheer stubbornness and genius mind, I am back here again. Yeah. I know. But why didn't you call for backup? They had our device. They were able to trace and intercept the signal, Naruto. What? How? As after that, Itachi showed him. And so, Naruto made it much more tougher to crack into. And after doing so, Naruto knew only two people would be behind this. The Snow Country who were pissed at the advancement that Naruto has brought. And the second one, this organization known as Akatsuki that Itachi spoke of. What are you planning, Naruto? Said Itachi as he witnessed Naruto thinking of something. 
It seems that I have to travel. Even if there is no sign of war, we can never be so sure that I am going with you. Fine. As in the middle of the night, Naruto arrived inside his lab and wore his armor. And the next thing, both using the tunnels were outside of the village. And now, both of them, using their flying ability, were flying. And away from the prying eyes, landed on the other skirts of Amegakure. Use your optical scanners, Itachi. See what you see. Focusing his Sharingan eyes and his optical scanners, Itachi was able to see they're still sacrificing souls. And the husk is being brought to life. It's vibrating. Of chakra. Hmm. Seemingly they can't get the beaches because of what I have done. So they tended to do human sacrifices. We need to end this before a war breaks out. And so Naruto brought out his gun and his blade that was filled with a saw-like extension on the other side. Let's roll, brother. And so both of them dashed and ran towards the battle head first. Itachi using the machine guns that were placed on top of his shoulders blazed across through the whole village, killing left and right all those puppets that attacked them. And the Akatsuki members were spotted and missile projectiles were launched at them. No matter how hard they tried to dodge, they couldn't. As Naruto arrived and began to attack left and right as well until Zetsu and the Zetsu army engaged. Naruto using his blade and gun was able to engage as well as his helmet and armor were slashed left and right but it didn't bother him. It was strong enough to hold on its own as Naruto using all of his potential was with the help of Itachi who was dreadnought arrived at where the both leader of the Khatsuki were. Madara Uchiha, who was much more older but still alive with his Rinnegan, and on the other side, it was Pain. And Pain went on his knees. Turns out Madara has betrayed him and had a smirk on his face. You're too late, Uzumaki. I have achieved my youth again and have become immortal, said it. Madara as his voice changed. And not only that, his skin tone changed then. I have become the sage as well. Now this world will be brought down to its knees. I will erase everything you have created, and from its ashes will rise the world in my own image, like I will allow you to do that. And so, a battle commenced. A battle between a literal god a, un and two unyielding fates. And so, they clashed against one another. Away from prying eyes, we see that Itachi had contacted the other nations of what was going on and what Madara's true plan was. As the other villages and the Hokages were currently busy having a meeting face to face in thanks to Naruto's technology all the time. As they said, what do we need to do? Naruto has gone behind our back and for the last time, he will be imprisoned on his return because he has crossed a line. Said Minato, he was enraged, but your son is doing a great job holding on his own. And that robot, Itachi Uchiha, right? Yes, he's helping him out. He's the one who informed us. So what's need to be done here, Minato? What's need to be done is that both of them need to be brought back and we need to find a way to kill Madara. As now we see, Naruto was not capable enough of dealing with Madara as he was. As he, with the help of Zetsu, was beaten to the point that Naruto was wounded badly. But not badly enough that he couldn't stand and fight. As Itachi then intervened, Naruto, enough! We might retreat for the time being. As with that, Itachi took Naruto and burst into the air as both of them landed inside Konoha. We need medics now. As Naruto was brought to his lab, as he were brought out of the suit, we see his father and mother looking at him with frown on their faces and so could be said for his siblings. As Naruto was brought into the hospital, we see his vision was going in and out because of the anesthesia until he was in a dreamlike state where he was in a traditional house and on the wooden floor was seated a man with pale skin that he had witnessed. Madara? Said Naruto with narrowed eyes. No, I am not that. Naruto Uzumaki. I am Hagaromo Otsusuki, or one you call the Sage of the Six Path. My boy, you have lost your ways. My ways? Yes, you have grown way too much paranoid, way too much overprotective. And because of that, look at what you have done to yourself. You're half machine, half human, my boy. And and not only that, you have turned your friend into an abomination, an insult to the gods. You know more than anyone that he should be laid to rest. I apologize, but 
What's done is done. But the Shinigami is willing to forgive you if... If what? If... You fight... For her. For her? But, but how? How do I fight for her? You build this suit as you call it, right? You will now display her symbol and in return she will bless you with this blade that you can use. This blade is capable of even killing the gods itself, let alone a fake one like Madra. You will need all the strength you need and a lot of the technology your mind can think of. But remember son, you always will be a human, not the machine. So let don't let get paranoia to your head. Your siblings are not babies who need to be protected all the time. They are their own people, and they will fulfill the destiny. But I don't wish for it. It doesn't depend on your wishing or not, Naruto. Can't you see that, my child? What I'm trying to tell you is that it is their destiny to help you to stop them. It is their destiny to help? Yes. The true prophecy stated that you, a genius mind, and two of the legendary powers will be able to stop the catastrophe that Madra is going to bring soon. So you're gonna need them. You can protect them as much as you want, but you will need them. I know. And what will be my punishment for the whole things I have done? That will be your soul, my boy. My soul? Yes. You have defied that, insulted it. The cycle of life has been insulted by you and what you have created of Itachi. And for that, Shinigami will claim both of your souls, because you will fall in this battle. It is destined to. I see. I have done already enough for this village and caused enough pain already as it is. So I'm not gonna cause any more. As Naruto, they stood up. And begin to walk. Thank you, Sage. I will make sure that I take your words to heart. And in this time, I will pay for the crimes that I have committed. For my sins. As Naruto arrived back to reality, we see that his parents were standing in front of him, alongside his siblings, and they were pissed. After having an earful, Naruto then said, We have to fight. I know what I did was wrong. But please, this time allow me to ask you for your help and allow me to fight together with you. As Minato smiled, realizing that his son finally understood what he was trying to say, as Danzu and Hiruzen were also surprised and happy that Naruto was finally able to see around after coming out of his dark face. As he looked towards Itachi, Brother, let us go to the battle. Let's go, Naruto, said Itachi. And so they descended, but they, weren't sh they were shocked to find that Madara wasn't alone. He has revived each and every Kage of the past as an Tensei, and not only that, the prime warriors of each and every age, since he has been an immortal himself now. And so, the clash occurred, as the dead army of Madra and the live army of Naruto and the Akages fought. As Naruto and Itachi were doing their best, as Madra brought down the meteor, as Itachi then said, Fall back! As Naruto jumped, tried to cut it down, it won't work! It will. As Itachi jumped and grabbed onto the meteor, holding it down on both of his hands, as that is when another, and after that another was brought down, Itachi then did something. Naruto create a barrier. Nisan, it's time for me to go for real. And don't you bring me back this time, you idiot. No, Itachi, please. As Itachi then initi initiated the self-destruct sequence, and with a boom, he, alongside each and every one of the meteorites that brought, brought down, were turning to nothing more than speckle of dust. As a metal piece came down next to Naruto, it was Itachi's shoulder plate in which the Uchiha emblem was placed. Naruto brought it and placed it on his own armor. After squenching it and using the laser to install it on his chest, he then said, Fine, I guess then I'll join you as well. He wore his helmet again, and using his huge armor, using the jetpacks from behind, he lunged forward, and using his gun and blade, he attacked Madara, but because of his heavy body, he was taking damage more than inflicting it. That is when his siblings, being able to tap into the Sage Chakra that was blessed upon them with both Sun and the Moon Seal, alongside with Kurama's KCM 2 state, 
They arrived. Nissan, we're here to help. Naruto nodded, and with both Menman Mito and Naruto, they were able to even the odds. And in the end, the battle's tides begin to change. Change for the better. And Naruto and his siblings were able to defeat Madara. As he laid down to the ground, the power being extracted, but in the hate spite of the moment as Naruto stood there, something happened. Madara rose, making a black chakra rod, it stabbed straight through Naruto's chest, as Naruto's body from within began to turn into ash and dissolve. No, Nisan, said both Menma and Mito, as with a single attack from Minato, Madara was killed. This time, and Hiruzen made sure to use fireball jutsu, and Danza used wind cutter jutsu to make sure that he was dead and stayed dead this time, while Naruto fell to his knees, clutching onto his chest, as he panted heavily. No, Nisan, said Sasuke as well, because he regarded Naruto as a brother. As the others who were there began to watch, it's alright. As Naruto then placed a hand on his head and took off his helmet, as blood was coming out of it, but it was black. I knew that it was going to happen. As their eyes went, what? The sage told me so. I defied the very rules of the nature itself. This is the punishment that I will get. You don't need to worry, father. I won't come back as Itachi. And I apologize, Sasuke. Tell this to your family and to everyone else that I'm sorry for the pain I have caused and for the suffering. Menma, me too. I love both of you. You as well, Kaja. Bosan, they are the best thing that could have ever happened to me. With that, Naruto had a small smile on his face as his body began to sl slowly stop moving. Manma and Mito stood there, letting out a scream that was not human. Kushina was crying on Minato's chest while Minato stood there with silence, with guilt, as well as with sadness. His son has died. His son who changed the whole fate of the world, and not only that, found himself by doing so in a darker place. But in his final moments, their boy was back. Their Naruto that they knew and loved was back. And he died with a smile on his face. And soon after enough, Naruto's funeral was held as his armor was collected and placed in the center heart, the real one, in Konoha, forever protected with the Fuinjutsu arts as a proud display of the one civilian whose will was so sheer that it brought the fake god known as Madara to its knees and uplifted the will of their own army, so much so that he was regarded as an emperor of Konoha of a sort, a well-respected figure throughout the history of the newly established nation. And not only that, Itachi in the form of its dreadnought and his human form was also placed next to him, while Naruto was in his in the form of a statue while Naruto's suit was on display with his civilian statue next to him as well, with their history on display. But Kona wasn't alone the memorial site. The memorial site was made in each and every nation that was developed because of them. The world itself held a huge statue of Naruto in his armor. Why? Because he saved the whole world from a great catastrophe. Even the summoning clans regarded him in high regards. As time passed by, many years passed, as now we see Menma Uzumaki Namikaze with his son Boruto Uzumaki Namikaze and his twin Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze standing in front of them with his wife, who was none other than Hinata. So this is where Uncle Naruto rests, right? Yes, he rests here. You were named after your uncle, Naruto. But as Naruto, Nisan would have said, he doesn't want you to follow his footstep. He wants you to be you and not be the shadow of himself. As Naruto then said, placing the young baby Naruto then said, placing his hand on the armor that was a little bit rusted but still there on display. I will follow his footsteps and carry out his legacy. Legacy to protect. While on the other side, Sasuke and Mito were also there with their daughter Sarada and showing 
that their uncles were there. As now we see Minato and Kushina were watching this from afar near a bench, that their children were there, all together once more. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this movie off, guys. I ho hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on my other channel, Meta What If, as well. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.